Hey there. I'm going to make a slight modification to the solar lid for the solar trailer. Sometimes when the back end and pedaling, they get a little oscillation onto the back end and the thing starts wobbling a lot, especially if one of the latches come loose. Unfortunately, in this last tour, I forgot to tighten everything up with Loctite and this whole arm. It should be over here. came right off of it. So to remedy that, I'm going to add a second rail. It's going to meet up. One's going to be here, and the other one's going to be right over there. So it's going to essentially end up adding like a little less than 14 ounces to it. We'll be taking off some of the hardware, which will be less than that, maybe 12 ounces total more. But to have the trailer not be able to come unlatched on that back end for me or do that wobble, which ends up happening, it'll be well worth the 12 ounces of extra weight. I guess they call it a kind of a weight sacrifice. Luckily with the 2020 railing, everything's pretty much like Legos. I just gotta loosen some nuts and add, move the bars over to where they need to be. I marked the two rails where they pretty much would be so I know where to put the two rails down. It's a rough estimate. I, I could measure it out, but I guess I'm kind of lazy. And of course I will be adding in some thread lock to pretty much seal it up. And that should help pretty much things from shaking loose. Those are just there to pad against the trailer, so nothing scraping. There's a bike alarm up here. I'm just going to leave it there for the moment. May end up using it on the next trip. Not sure. So now I just need to take back some of my wiring that I have, so I'm able to shift this rod over one way and put in the new one. I'm also going to have to check my wire lengths. Not sure on all that. I'm going to have to remove the bike alarm. Some of the wiring goes under the clips that are holding it on. You do. Just zip ties. I get the main wire loose there now. It's gonna try to loosen all this up here. Okay, now I just need to loosen up the four joining points so I can slide it over. Tips it more over. Under tension. That's good. Roughly where it should be need to be. I will take some measurements before I tighten it up. That that matches up with that. The tape line I had on the thing. I have another tape line over here where the rail would roughly to match up with the uh, latch system. So I just got to put the second rail on. Enter. I added all the feet and everything to it. Now I just got to install it onto. I'm gonna tuck all those wires under. Yeah, definitely. Under looks better. So a piece of tape is there. I need to line it up over there. Just got to deal with this octopus of wires. Right there, roughly, is where I estimated. So, yep. Cute. Okay. I'm just gonna add four nuts in there and get them loosely in there. I like that, but more parallel and square. I'll measure it out and everything. Everything's kind of just loosely in there at the moment and tighten it down too much. I just need to try to get this octopus a little bit cleaned up here and I'll put the alarm back on there. I'm gonna cut the old zip tie off. Never mind. Perfect. It's like roughly 11 inches from the side. Let's see this one. And slightly off. 11 inches and 11 inches. So now I just need to check the top and bottom and make a match that roughly. Should be a trick keeping it all even. La 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 la. La 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 la. Alright, got all the wires cleaned up and everything. Got the two rails secured on there. So now I'm going to put it on the solar trailer and see how everything fits. <clears throat> All right, then the mount, there is just basically three screws that there's three ferrule points that match up on this. So I just got to, first I'm going to back the screws and then I'm going to line it up. Fortunately, on the one side of the hinge, there's only one aperture. Definitely feels like it's stiffened up the back end. Yeah, when I shake the left or right side of the wing, it shakes the whole trailer. Back up bungee holding it shut just just to make sure they don't pop before they were popping off but yeah with those new rails it's definitely got a better hold on there this trailer does have the ferrules that add two more latches on the back as long as these hold and i don't see any problem with it i don't see any need to add any more to it it's just more stuff to unclip to try to get into it the solar panel can hold the trailer which is part way loaded right now for more tests i'm gonna have to wait till my next solar tour which you guys will have to wait because on this tour, I'm actually going to take the lid off because I don't need it for the next one. It's one of the cool things about this Burley trailer mod here is I can easily take the lid off and on. It's held in by basically three screws here to go into the trailer, holding the hinges on. And 
Then the other side is latches. I just gotta remove these three screws and it should come, it'll come right off. One of them, second one. And last but not least, the third one. And as the Brett say, Bob Jonko. All right. So pretty much already got all the latches undone, I think. So you can just pick it up and remove it right off the system. Of course, I'm gonna want to undo its electrical. Yeah. Right there, it's lights, and that's all from the solar system. And there we go. It is now independent from solar panel. Now with these hinges here, I just usually leave them on because, well, I take the back bumper off this and I completely remove that part just to make the trailer even lighter for when I don't need the uh, solar panel on it. Off these two latches over here just so I don't have to hear them. The one stripped, it's not good. That one maybe stripped out a little bit. Try taking this one out and then deal with that stripped one here in a second. That's unfortunate. Somehow my screw got stripped out on it. That one came right out. And then I like to take the screws just for the trailer and put them back, right back in where I got them from. Of course, that one over there, I need to try to get it out and find a replacement for it. That way, yeah, I have them for next time. Now I just gotta basically store my latches with my, uh, I got a series of 2020 stuff I store them with to keep them safe. But yeah, I gotta try to get off this stripped off one here. Yep, that's definitely stripped. To be continued. Well, unfortunately I got this one uh, stuck onto the trailer, so I guess it's not coming off. It's a permanent attachment. I'll, I guess, hook my net around it and yeah, hopefully that'll keep it from bouncing around there. But yeah, I've tried even, I got a separate Allen rinse and tried in there and yeah, it's just, it's stripped. So yeah, I need something to remove that, but it's fine. I'll leave it on there for now. At least I won't lose it, I guess. I guess I could have left both of them on there and just left them for places to hook the net onto. Wouldn't have been that awful. But yeah, for the most part, as long as you don't tighten the bolt down and strip it out like I did, uh, the thing's pretty modular. You could take it on and off, which is convenient because, well, I'm going up into the mountains and I don't need the solar panel. I wouldn't be gaining all that much and the trip's not long enough to need the extra energy. I'm buying on batteries. It was a good time for it and a time, yeah, it would just be dead weight. It'd be, it'd be essentially, I guess, a tabletop at that moment. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. And I definitely am looking forward to testing out this new design, which I'll show that one more time here on my next solar trip because yeah, that is definitely a lot more stable. Before having the wings there, it, they were bending and yeah, it inevitably failed there anyway. So till next time, have a great day.